Hi guys, it's Ben from Nerf Mods for Dummies again, and today I'm going to be looking at the Rampage. Nerf Elite Rampage, probably my favourite out the box Springer, only because it is so easy to modify and build in pump grip already. Uh, I'm pretty sure with this one too, the, the plunger tube is a little bit bigger than your standard retaliator, so you will get a bit more output out of it using the same 5 kilo upgrade spring. This spring I got from Blaster Tech here in Australia, which is uh, www.blastertechtech.com.au. Uh, they will post worldwide, and it is the spring is also available through Orange Mod Works. www.omw.com.just.com. Sorry, it's an American-based site. Okay, let's start getting into this. First up, you've got to remove the magwell housing, and you need a blunt knife. I'm not going to cut myself for that. Just to get in around the seam and wedge it open a bit. There, there. And I do appreciate all the feedback I'm getting on the videos. One that I have had a couple of times now is people want me to look at cutting the videos down. But I'm still getting more positive um, reports about the real time compared to the um, cutting down. So I'll still, I'll still keep doing it this way, this one's been painful, so now that I've, this one is probably one I should cut down. There we go. There we go. That's off. So that's a little bit painful, it's probably the most painful thing about undoing this blaster is removing that off. So here we go. Well, as always, make sure it's de-primed, I know it was because I de-primed it. Just so you guys can see, unscrew the back part. And it does help putting down a sheet or a towel or a blanket or something. I prefer the yellow one just because you can see how, how easy the screws stick out in it. Right, got a small screwdriver to do the rest. And as always guys, if you want to, just fast forward through till I've opened the blaster up if you don't want to listen to me. Also, too, I appreciate um, comments on what blasters you'd like to see me do next. When I don't have a lot of opportunity to record these guides, so when I do, I normally do them three or four at a time. So if you give me a suggestion, I may have already done it. Uh, or I may not have. It's not that I'm ignoring you or anything else. But I do try to record three to four videos at a time. Just because we've my life and everything else going on, my studies, having children, it's unusual I get a quiet house to myself, and because this part here is best place for light, it is in my dining room, and it's normally noisy and full of kids. I have three, which is one of the reasons why I got into nerfing, but none of their blasters are modified. Over the course of the videos, I will modify a couple of their blasters, but I'll switch them back over to stock. So my children are five, I've got twins, five, five, and my oldest is nine. But I don't believe that they're ready yet to be playing with upgraded blasters when they're still flying for stock. They don't attend events or wars yet until such time as I think they're ready, they won't. And even all my heavily modified blasters are on a wall high above where anyone can reach them. The saying that is too, I do have a couple of unmodified ones downstairs, which I have a rampage. Not this one, because this one's not mine, but my one isn't modified and it's sitting downstairs. And that's what I play with when it's time to shoot the kids. There we go, nice and easy one piece. I did lose one screw, and there it is. So I love the simplicity of this blaster. Same as your other Elite, you've got your trigger, trigger mechanism, plunger tube, and your spring. Stock spring, and your trigger catch, which, as you know, is always going to stay in place. What I'm going to do at the end of this video, I'm going to quickly show, that when I say to people I normally pop the back open and replace the spring, I'll show you how I would normally do that myself. 
Everything's in place on this, so this is beautiful, ready to go. The fluff. Everything else is perfect, ready to go, sat in place. Even that annoying little bit at the bottom sat in place. So it's going to be a nice, easy one, hopefully. Crack. What I might do is, I will um, pause this one and come back to it when it's done. Okay, it's all screwed back together now. So hopefully that was less tedious having to listen to me and carry on. Five kilo spring is in there. Just dropping a dart in there. I've got a mag handy at the moment. So drop one dart in. And that was off a cardboard box. It bounced pretty much straight back at me. I need that dart. Okay, now when I, when I say to someone that I normally just drop the spring straight in the back of it, I'll show you the quick and easy way to do what I've just done. And pretty much the same as what I do with any of these elite um, spring replacements. So what I'm going to start with is the two. Um, so I'm just saying I'm going to stop watching anywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, done. 40 seconds. What I've done now, I've removed the 5 kilo spring. Stop one back in. So in 40 seconds, I'll go over again with you quickly. So what I've done here is just removed the screws. So again, show you quickly this time. All I've done with this is, because this is the easiest way I find to do it, if not removing locks, unscrew about two or three at the back of it, and you'll be able to just uh, open that up enough to get that spring out. Rip one out, put another one straight in. That is the quickest and easiest way to do it. I've done this plenty of times during games. If someone buys a spring off someone else, like if um, the guy that runs Blaster Techs out a game and he's got springs and people are buying them, they're just, I only opened up two screws that time. Wedge it, come straight out. By leaving the blaster in place, you're leaving the trigger catch in place as well. As I said, unless you're removing locks, that is quite an easy way to do it. You don't have to worry about five kilo stock. You don't have to worry about anything moving on the inside because the natural shape of the blaster will hold it all in place. So I'm hoping to do it in under 30 seconds, but well, you get the idea. When you practice enough in doing it, it was just part of back again with problems. When you practice enough at doing it, it is quite easy to do. Um, and that's what I'll call it, uh, just pop, pop, pop in the back and pull the spring and replacement in. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please let me know if you did prefer me pausing it during the screwing and unscrewing part or if you preferred it the way it's normally done. Again, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos. I will upload them every Monday Australian time. Thank you.